This is Bob on the Goose Guy bench, and we're uh, moving ahead with our uh, uh, build on the uh, Goose Guy RS4. We're now on step number two, and we'll zoom in on that, and we'll be doing bags number 2004, 2005, and uh, we'll be doing uh, the assembly of the washout arm and the radial arms. You'll notice that uh, there are bearings that are involved in this. Um, those bearings have already been seated, and so you won't have to worry about putting those in. Uh, you will need to, uh, uh, as we uh, pan back over here on the main hub, uh, you'll see how these are assembled onto the main hub here. Uh, so we got the um, washout arms and the radial arm construction here that will be going back onto the main hub here. And you can see the finished product on the, um, the blade grips. And uh, I've got laid out here um, on the blade grips exactly how they're supposed to go in there. You'll see that the uh, washout arms are on the outside there. You'll have two washers that go in there, and then you'll also have your radial arm that uh, will go into there, and it's got a washer on the inside part there. You want to make sure that you have the goose guy facing out uh, so that uh, you, you can read the goose guy on both sides there. And you can see on the other side over here as well that we've got um, uh, the screws that'll be involved in that. You want to make sure that you lock tight those into the uh, hub uh, as you assemble this. And uh, make sure that you get the proper orientation on the washers, exactly where they go, and everything should move really freely. Uh, so you can see that the um, uh, main blade grips have, have been assembled, and uh, they're ready to receive uh, the washout arm and the radial arm construction there. And then now down here on the swash plate, You'll see that we've got uh, all of our ball links in place here. And uh, you'll notice that there are screws on the top and there's also screws on the bottom of the swash plate. You'll want to take those out and you'll want to lock tight those and then you want to seat them back in. But uh, be sure and be careful about uh, over tightening those screws. Those are very small screws, 1.5 uh, screws. And so you want to make sure that you're careful whenever you're putting those back in. Make sure lock tight is on those and they're secured well and uh, that should get your swash plate uh, assembled taken care of. So uh, the build is going great together. Uh, the uh, uh, manual is really great in its detail. So I'm really enjoying the build and uh, it's going together nicely. Thank you and I hope this helps.